I'm sorry, I know there is a slight chance it's been a little bit longer than a day since my last post. If you're interested in the backstory on that, I'll get into it at the end of the video, but in the meantime, we are here. I found a skate park. I'm in the beautiful mountains of North Carolina. I have the race car and I found a skate park. I actually tried to go here with Spencer way back in the beginning of the whole uh, sickness ordeal, but this whole area was like shut down. I think it's a, it's a Cherokee reserve or something. So they had like the whole thing shut. It was crazy. So we went to that other park. If you saw that video on his channel forever ago. But yeah, Cherokee, North Carolina. We got pools, we got that bowl that's gonna be really fun, and then some, some sick street stuff with pool coke. It's gonna be tight. But if you couldn't tell, I am alone, so there's gonna be a lot of tripod. It's definitely gonna be chiller than the last video where I, where I learned a certain stunt, if you didn't see that. Go check it out, because it's one of my favorite videos that I made in a while. Yeah, we're just gonna start warming up. We're warming her up. It's honestly kind of a tricky layout, because there's so many sharp hips, but just flowing around, it is. it does feel very nice. And I love the texture of this concrete. <laughs> oh. I'm lost. So lost. I am a fan. I really want to mess with this thing. Perfectly mellow. Probably only six feet. Perfect for ripping back. I think we're gonna start off with some balance maneuvers. I've been seeing a lot of backwards fakey manual things on the internet. And I'm not the best at them, so we're just gonna I'm just gonna do a backwards fakey manual to somewhere. Whoa. I don't know if that counts. All right, I've decided that's not the end of the fakie manual. We're going round two. I'm gonna use this mega euro. Try and just like bar manual up 180 fakie manual into the bowl. And it's gonna be great because I'm a professional fakie manualer. And uh, pretty much that's all there is to it. Oh, yeah. So you guys, no big deal. Professional fakie manualer. Okay, I just watched that back. Not the prettiest thing in the world, don't judge me, but uh... Yeah, I'm just a fakie manualer, don't even worry about it. <sighs> don't even freaking worry about it. Continuing on, one more balance stunt. We're probably 10 seconds into the video, but I'm an hour into riding. <laughs> I'm gonna try, knack nose, bowl corner, bowl corner, because my name is Jason Watts, and it's no big deal. Except if I put the first clip in, you could probably watch the shadows of the trees. Yeah, I'm a freaking knack noser, no big deal, that didn't take an hour. Alrighty, back from my gourmet lunch in the race car. As you can see, we got the goon mount on. I'm gonna float around the bowl, since uh, I spent my first two hours, I mean ten minutes, uh, balancing. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be a good time. This place is like perfect steepness. I'm a fan. I'm just gonna try and build the speed on this thing, see what happens. Not super high, but I was curious what that was gonna feel like. It looked a little quick, but usually I do those like one footer thingies on like a quarter bank where you don't have to pull back into the coping. I don't know, it might be something, who knows. Okay. 
I'm a fan of this place. It's so quiet, in the middle of the mountains. A couple locals here, everyone's very nice. They have a pool that I'm gonna test out. Probably not gonna do much in here to be honest, but just gonna do some circles and we'll see what happens. Honestly, don't get much pool action in my life, but this isn't really like a pool pool. It's like a, it's like a mellow thing. Ooh, it's a different temperature down there. <laughs> oh, so freaky. Just gotta look forward. Look where you wanna go. Sorry, I'm gonna make you guys dizzy. Yeah, there. This thing is pretty sweet. I'm gonna move back down though. You don't you don't need more clips than me doing straight airs. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. I'm gonna try to link a manual. I'm gonna get it done. I can get some freaking one wheeling. Ah that hurt. See you later, heel. It was nice knowing you. No. Oh no! Oh. Oh. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. That was hard. Holy shoot. Oh my god. I almost took the parking block out when I was on my way out. It was buried in leaves. That was a freaking tricky one. I almost I was so close to dropping it on that stair set over there. We made it and we did the launch. I'm gonna continue with the GoPro for a second. I got a couple other lines in mind that I don't know, I don't feel like the tripod would make it look that cool, I don't know. Then I'm gonna try to copy a Tom Justice stunt that I just saw on Instagram, because he just relearned it, so I will learn it, because it looks cool. Okay, I may have just done all the talking for this and jumped it, but <laughs> the first jump's just from there to there. It shouldn't be too bad, you know, I don't really have any idea. I've never done it before. I never did that before. Woo! I'm gonna keep that. I got a little loose, but it felt cool. Just uh, no, it wasn't fully extended, but it dipped in really nice feeling. That's jump number one. Jump number two close, close. is over there. Going from there to there, and then off the ledge into that and it's gonna hurt but you know I saw it and you could do it so oh oh yeah pain <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing sorry I feel like the GoPro loosened up but we launched it No! That's so cool. Watching people that are good at skating makes me really want to be good at skating, but I am too gosh darn awkward on the road. Oh. I'm not going to force Skater Man to keep doing that, but it was cool. I'm going to try that Tom Justice stunt that I mentioned before. Then I'm going to go hide out in a hotel parking lot and make some dinner and go to another skate park tomorrow. But Tom Justice stunt first. I'm going to try to do both variations. First one I've already done before, but I'll try to do it again. One hop, but I'm gonna take it because I'm running out of daylight. <laughs> the way he was relearning was the opposite of that. So we're doing down to regular. I'll relocate you and I'm gonna learn it before it gets dark.
Well, as you can see, it may be dark, and there may not have been a clip of me even getting close to that. So my wishful thinking, uh, yeah, it didn't happen. We'll get back to it another day. I'm out here all by myself in the dark. There's noises in the woods, and uh, I'm trying to go make dinner, but I did say I would explain my absence, and uh, basically it just boils down to just a very long series of hits that I, <laughs> that I took. I guess it started about three weeks ago. Pretty much right after the cash roll video. There's just like a bunch of little things. Usually I'm good at letting letting everything breeze by, but say so yeah, a Woodward thing, a bunch of little smaller things that didn't really matter. And then I flew to Texas for that Chase Hawk Bowl contest thing. There are a couple other things that happened there. If you're on Instagram, I may have started a started a <laughs> little bit of an internet mess. But, uh, but that aside, um, first day rode for a while, and then I snapped my crank arm off my bike, which kind of understandable. I mean, they're the best cranks. I just rode them for too long. That's what, I'm, I, that's what I'm going with. I still trust them. I would ride them again, but I'm riding some slightly different cranks that had to do with the internet thing. But uh, that aside, the second day, I got sick. I didn't think it was really anything, but it turns out that sickness, that was not the vid, don't worry. It just dragged on the whole weekend, so I ended up not riding, which sucked. But then I had planned on tagging along with, with Brad and Ricky and Aaron and Chase to Swamp Fest from Houston because Brad and Ricky are moving to Woodward and they had the van. So I hopped in with them, still not feeling too hot. I was going to ride it out. I, was fi I figured it would be another day or two and I'd be good to go. And uh, just was not getting any better. Like the worst of it that happened in Houston was done, but I just, it's like I hit a plateau on recovery. Decided to just cut my losses on that the Wednesday before Swamp Fest. I just flew back home and freaking rested and then while I was resting at home everything kind of hit me like a like a freight train just a lot of build up but you know we're, we're back I'm on the road I just finished some super extreme stunt shows in South Carolina at a dirt bike track and it was really cool and now I am here in Cherokee and then tomorrow which will probably be Tuesday or Friday I don't really know for you but I'm gonna go ride Asheville that that place where I found my soulmate in Spencer's video forever ago <laughs> and I'm, I'm basically I'm working my way over to rally to hang out with Justin again and uh, do some stunts and it's gonna be great but yeah, that's the story, if you if you cared. But yeah, that aside, we've got a beautiful sunset that I should have been using as the background for that talking thing, and I'm gonna go into the race car and make dinner and cry myself to sleep because I can't do a down whip to whip put jam thing. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you dropped a like. Uh, it's been a while since I've done the solo action, so uh, I don't know, definitely chillier than the last one, but still, I had a good time. Shout out to Cherokee. Shout out to the mountains. They're great. Okay, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.